Ever wish you could travel into the center of the universe at warp speed? Well, you can't. But we can make this warp tunnel project in Hopscotch, so why don't we do that instead? So you're in your editor. If you want to grab a character, you can do that by tapping on this gray plus button right here. And the first thing we're going to do is make the screen black so we're in outer space. So drag out a text object, and let's call it space, just so we can keep track of it. Press done. Add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, which means when the project starts, and because we've named this space, I don't want to see that word in the project, so I'm going to make this invisible. So to do that, go to Looks and Sounds, drag out a Set Invisibility block, and set it to 100, which means fully invisible. Then, go to Drawing, and let's make this screen black. So the first way to do that is to pull out a Leave a Trail block, pick your color, I'm going to pick black, Make your width 3,000, which will cover the whole screen, and then you only have to move forward one. And this is going to create a giant dot that will cover the screen in blackness. So let's see if that happened. Boom. We're in the abyss of outer space. Let's go back to edit. And then to exit out of a rule, you just tap anywhere outside of it. All right, for my next object, I want to create the object that will make all the lines expand from the center of the screen. So. Add a new object, let's make a text object. I'm not gonna name it this time because I don't wanna see the word lines. So you can just press cancel right here. Add a new rule. And for the first rule, I wanna create 50 clones. So pick when the play button is tapped and to create clones, you go down to the blue control flow tab and drag out a create a clone. And to create 50 clones, we're gonna have to use a repeat block. So pull that out too and let's make it 50 and then drag this block inside. And now this block will run 50 times instead of us having to pull out 50 create a clone blocks. Cool, so add a new rule now. And now you'll see the super cool new one called characters cloned, which only appears if you've cloned your object. So now I tap on it. And this is basically like when the play button is tapped for clones. Once they're created, whatever's in here is what they're gonna do first. So what we want them to do is be at the center of the screen, pick any angle, and then draw a line outward from the center. So to start at the center, let's go to Movement and pick Set Position, drag it out, and let's make it 500, and then tap on the Y bubble by 400. And this is sort of an approximation of the center of the screen. It might be a little off. Then let's pick an angle. So drag out Set Angle, and let's make it any possible angle from 0 to 360. And the way to do that is to tap Random. For the first bubble, let's pick 0. For the second bubble, let's pick 360. So now they can point anywhere. And now let's make them draw lines that go outward. So go to Drawing, pull out Leave a Trail, and pick whatever color you want. I'm going to pick Random because I think it looks cool. And then for the width, let's just make it 1. And for Move Forward, which is the length of the line, let's pick 600. Okay, and let's see what it looks like. Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, go back to edit. Let's get out of this rule. Let's add our third and final object. So go to the plus button, pull out an object, and I'm also not going to name this one. And the first thing we're going to do is make 50 clones yet again. So go to add a new rule, and the play button is tapped, control flow, create a clone, and repeat that 50 times. Remember, put the clone block inside the repeat block. All right, we have 50 of these things, and what are they gonna be? They're gonna be the rings that come outwards that makes it look like you're going through a tunnel. So add a new rule. When the character is cloned, so the first thing we wanna do is like last time, we're gonna set it to the middle of the screen. So go to Movement, drag out Set Position, and pick 500 by 400. Now we're in the middle of the screen. Then, we're going to make an O, and it's going to get bigger and bigger. And then when it gets big enough, it's going to go back to the center and be small, and then get bigger and bigger again. So it's going to give the illusion of an endless set of rings coming outwards. So first, let's go to Control Flow and pull out a repeat forever, because we don't ever want this to stop. Then we want these O's to be small at first. So we're going to go to Looks and Sounds. We're going to pick Set Size and pull it in there and let's make it 50. So this is half as big as your regular object. And this is gonna be a capital O, so it's already pretty small. And then we're gonna wait, which is under control flow, we're gonna wait, drag that under the set size. We're gonna wait from 100 to 1000 milliseconds. So pick random. For the first bubble, pick 100. 
for the second bubble pick 1000. Press check. And then we're going to drag in a set text. Put it under the weight inside the repeat forever. And tap on this keyboard to write down what you want the text to be. And erase this and type O. Make sure it's capital. Press done. Why did I wait until now to make this object an O? Because I don't want to see the O until it's at the center of the screen and it's small and it's weighted around an amount of time. You'll see as the loop goes why this is the best order. Now I want it to get bigger, so I'm going to drag out a grow by block and put it under the set text. I'm going to pick 7%. But this only happens once, right? So we need to make it grow by 7% a bunch of times. So to do that we're going to drag a repeat block in between these two and I'm going to pick 65 and I'm going to drag this grow inside here. So, it, so 65 times it will grow by 7% and once it's done with that it's going to go back to the top of this loop and it's going to be set to 50% again which will be small. It'll wait a random amount of time and then it will grow again. But lastly I don't want these O's to be black I want them to be random but you can make them whatever you want and let's see what this looks like. Whoa, so cool. And you have just learned how to travel into the center of the universe. Good job. Now see if you can add some other cool stuff to this, like this awesome plane, which I'll teach you how to make in a later video. Or this can be an animation when you're traveling through time. Um, you can make super cool variations on this. I can't wait to see what awesome stuff you all make, and I'll see you later.